Hey everyone, welcome back. Great that you're watching. Today we're going to talk about the sense of smell. So please open your textbook to page 128 and follow along section 5.5 smell. Okay, here we go. Obviously the sense organ for smell is the nose. The stimulus to the nose is not called smells, even though you and I understand the word smells, but in English we say odors. So the stimulus for the nose is odors. Odors are certain chemicals in the air that the sensory receptors in your nose are sensitive to. So here you see the odors and the odors get into your nose and way up at the top of your nose there's called there's the sensory receptors and they're called olfactory receptors right there olfactory receptors now the olfactory receptors the olfactory cells they turn odors into nerve impulses that's what sensory receptors do they turn smells and sounds and all of those into electrical signals called nerve impulses so in this case in the nose the odors are turned into nerve impulses by the olfactory cells so the nerve impulses then go to your brain and your brain interprets the nerve impulses and thinks hey i smell a pizza so how does this work how do we smell I'm going to explain this step by step. Go ahead and follow along in this video. The first thing is that odors from food, for instance, enter your nasal cavity, your nose halter, and it enters in tiny chemical droplets, very small little droplets. Those chemical droplets then dissolve in mucus inside your nasal cavity. Then the olfactory cells over here at three detect the chemical droplets and then turn that into electrical messages, nerve impulses that go to your brain. And then your brain interprets odor as something that smells. So from your nose to mucus to olfactory cells and to your brain. Now, your nose actually has more than one job. In fact, it has two jobs. The first job is, of course, to detect chemicals, odors, but also especially to detect dangerous chemicals in the air. For instance, when there's a fire, you can smell that and you can run away and save your life. But your nose also filters the air. It cleans the air so that not too much dirt gets into your airways and into your lungs so how does that work well first of all nose hairs nose hairs filter dust and germs like you know big parasites and all that stuff that you really don't want to get into your body and then mucus that's up your nose slime dus mucus traps it is very sticky so it traps some viruses and it traps pollen and sometimes you then get a trigger and then you have to sneeze so you kind of throw all of that dirt out of your body unfortunately not all viruses and bacteria are trapped some still manage to get into your airways and that of course make you very sick as we all know Okay, well, that is actually already the end of the lesson. So it's a very short lesson, isn't it? Make sure you rewatch the video again. And make sure you really understand all the steps involved in smell. So from some food all the way up to your nose and to your olfactory cells and to your brain. Make sure you really understand what's happening. Then answer the questions in your workbook on page 132 and 133, questions 29 and 30. Write those questions in your workbook, make a photo, copy paste the photo in a Word document and send it to your teacher. That's it for today. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye.